Happy Friday everybody. It is Friday the 12th of February and you're joining us for another fun-packed weekend with us here at Cheers Ears HQ. Morning girls. Morning. Are you vlog ready? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, morning wife. Doing, Where yeah, are you? I can't see you. Oh, there you are. You're, you're there. How are we? Yeah, good. Could have laid in this morning. Definitely didn't want to get up. I know. At all. We could have easily gone back to sleep and missed doing breakfast this morning. I, feel. I, I could have definitely <laughs> overslept this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How was your week? All right. It's been quite busy for us. Yeah. Room wise. We've been doing stuff. Yeah. It, yeah. The week's gone quickly, I think. I thought it dragged. Morning, Dezo. Are you vlog ready or are you hiding away? Um, you can. Hey! Morning. Morning. How are we? Good. How are you? I like your jumper. Thank you. I'm quite good. Quite good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We were, oh, we have caught up on the uh, Marvel films. Yes. So for the first time last night, you watched. Um, Thor. Nice, what do you think? I thought it was good. It's not my favourite though. No. So far, like, I think I might have enjoyed that one the least so far. What have you enjoyed the most so far? Maybe, I think Iron Man. Which one? The first one. Yeah. But then also, I was very surprised by The Incredible Hulk. That's great, wasn't really it? I enjoyed that one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. That was really good. Yeah. And what's next? What have we got to watch next? New Avengers. Wee! Because on Disney Plus you can, it yeah, puts them in the right order for you. Line. Yeah, and I've got an itchy right hand, which means probably gonna win. We're about to get rich. You are a millions tonight, that'd be a right old touch. It's like over 100 million at the moment. I would go share it with all my subscribers. Blooming would. Something, would. <laughs> something would go down. Anyway, we gotta do a bit of decorating, we gotta do a bit of cleaning, we gotta do a bit of work. Oh, I haven't told you this, Carpet Man's coming on Sunday. Tracy, stop giving away all my super excited carpet-based <laughs> secrets. Why are they coming on Sunday? Huh? Why are they coming on Sunday? That's the, that's the day of the He's coming on Sunday because he has to home, he has to homeschool Monday to Thursday. He's like, oh, I'm really sorry, mate. Oh, brutal. Yeah, I know. He's like, I'm really, really sorry, mate. I should have been around ages ago. He came to measure up in like November, but he's got to do some other work because we've had a massive leak in Daisy's bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. Sad times, I'll show you later, it's pretty brutal. No, I don't show you later. All right, I won't. Um, is Luke working all weekend? No one knows, he's currently in bed, he's starting later today, but you know, we're gonna take you lovely lot along with us. Right, so, 20 past 12, all the work in the main house is done. We've only got one fella in for a couple of nights at the moment, that may change, um, so yeah. It's nice to feel like that part is, you know, all that work bit is finished now. I am starving, so I'm gonna get some breakfast. Not breakfast, get some lunch underway. And Luke's off to work shortly. Tracy's, I think, having a shower. And then this afternoon, I think, I'm gonna start making a, getting the room that we're decorating ready for painting the ceiling. So I'm gonna go and get that room prepped. And the goal for the weekend really is, Start taking that fencing down there and clearing out what's behind. Pumpkin, let's see if we can zoom in on Pumpkin. He's doing all right, he's hanging on in there. So yeah. Right, it is coming up for three o'clock. Don't know where the day's gone today. I've pretty much done all I can with the decorating. So, so this is the room that we've been decorating. So I put that down to stop the paint. That's the wall that I filled there. That's the light point, TV point, uh, other light point, and the aerial point. So tomorrow, painting the ceiling. So plan is to get a coat on first thing, and do all around the edges, and then start on the garden, and then finish a bit early on the garden, and then well as soon as this dried. Come and do another bit on here. So I think two coats should be enough. And then just shift all of that over there. You know, it's not ideal. How nice would it be just to get it all out of the room and then so you can crack on. However, my life, and I suppose your lives, might not be like that. So I'm calling it a day for today. I'm gonna go and push the hoover around. 
downstairs, phone's going, hopefully more business, or some business please. Um, so yeah, and then I think Tesco's, I might always over to Waitrose actually, I want a couple of fancy steaks because it's takeaway night tonight. Luke and Daisy are having a Domino's, Tracy's trying to be good on Slimming World. I'm gonna have a steak from uh, Waitrose, I think Tracy is as well, rambling a bit. Listen to the aunt's phone. Right, see you in a bit. Right, it is four o'clock. I'm gonna go and do Tesco's Traceo. Cool. I'm not gonna do any more work now. No. I'm worked out. Not worked out, but you know. <laughs> we are done with work for the day. And then, we're gonna come back and watch some telly. Yes, we'll do that. Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. We have some good telly this week. Yeah, we have, yeah. Finished it's a sin. That was sad. Really sad. That was really harsh, sad. Actually. Yeah. Really harsh. It was really, really brilliant. The only uh, we were talking about this last night. The only criticism I would have made is I wish there were three more episodes. Yeah, I wish they'd stretched it out a little bit more and filled some of the bits where they they jumped some months or years in the story. Yeah. Which was fine, but I was wanting to know what was going on in that time because it was so good. I could have eaten that bit up as well, if you know what I mean. Actually, I'd like, would have liked 12 episodes of that. Yeah, I think it just needed to be long. I loved it, the acting was brilliant, the story was brilliant, and it was just, it was really, really, really good telly. Yeah, really, really harsh, really. I just, it's the only word I can think of in, in what they were having to deal with at the time. Yeah. Just awful. I know. Heartbreaking. Yeah. Cool, we've come a long way, haven't we? You lovely lot. Yes. Right, and well, and we we started a new program. This is how it, this is how it goes down here. Right, we have stuff that Tracy and I watch together. We have stuff that me, Tracy, and Dazo watch together, and then we have stuff that me, Tracy, and Luke watch together. So me, Tracy, and Luke watch The Mandalorian. Yeah. Me, Tracy, and Daisy watch Married at First Sight. At First Sight. And this is us. And this is us. And. We were looking for something just for me and Tracy to watch. So last night we started... Little Fires Everywhere. Yeah. Yes, I remember what it was called. It's got Reese with a spoon in it. Yeah, it's really... Yeah, the first episode's really hooked us, isn't it? It's really our kind of thing. So it's got really... Pacey from Dawson's Creek oh, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Joshua Jackson. I tell you what I don't like. What? don't like seeing people I was watching when I was young like, on telly. <laughs> looking the... older. Looking old. <laughs> Fucks! <laughs> Yeah, so that looks really, really good. So I'm gonna do Tesco's. I'm gonna stick my headphones on. Oh, fun fact, I wear headphones around Tesco's just so no one bothers me. <laughs> really? You should wear a sign on your t-shirt. Yeah, stay away from jog me. on, yeah. not chatty. Anyway, so I'm gonna stick my headphones on. It's a bit dull and overcast out there, but hey ho, Luke's not back till nine-ish, I don't think. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna, not have mistakes tonight, I'm gonna have a takeaway, so. Luke and Daisy will have a Domino's, Tracy and I will have a cheeky kebab, because we'll be pretty careful yeah. with that. And then, yeah, I'm going to do Tesco's, come back, watch telly. What are we going to watch? Well, we can watch more... Pretty Little Fires. Pretty Little Fires. Everywhere. Feels like Pretty Little... No. No, uh, Big Little Lies. Yeah, I loved that. That was yeah, really that's good. Yeah, Reese with a spoon as well. Yeah. You know how she eats her cereal. God. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not even going to say it, so... so... Yeah, but, you know... Oh no. With a spoon. <laughs> right, goodbye, I'll see you shortly. Oh, we'll just so everybody, uh, everyone's dying to know, this iClip wallet, game changer. I absolutely love it. So, you know, if you want a little wallet that fits in your pocket, actually I've got a message from someone, actually they bought one based on my recommendation. So I'm probably now responsible internationally for one of them wallets, a couple of pairs of crossfire shorts, five or six knife sharpeners, Oh, actually, what my big coat? Oh yeah, your coat. Yeah. And a Peloton machine. And a Peloton machine. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. So I probably true influencer. There we go. And frozen cherries. You know, people are all over the frozen cherries. However, I'm having a couple of weeks off the cherries because my weight's plateaued. And I don't know if it was near beers. I don't, it's pro I just can't do stuff in moderation. Like, I can't just have, like, a regular sized bowl of cherries. I've got to have, like, all the cherries. <laughs> so, I've cut cherries out. I've not had an ear beer for a couple of weeks because, you know, I sort of got to this point and, like, oh, not, not far now. And then the old rig's just gone, no, we're staying here for a bit. And this, I've been stuck here for ages. I don't want a bit to go yet. 
So, not having cherries. Boring on, aren't you? Just looking at me like, what an idiot. Oh, actually, you're probably not eating enough. No, because you're a feeder. I'm not. I'm Stop being. I'm just saying there might be something missing in your diet that is stopping you. No. It's the two kilos of cherries I'm slinging down oh, my no. throat every day. Probably not helping, to be fair. Yeah, and it's just, you know, I'm sit. Anyway, go and test it. Oh, Kylo's here, have a clean. Say hello, everyone. Kylo. Say hello. Say hello. Okay. Hello. <coughs> All back from Tesco's. Back from Tesco's. Yeah, really nice today. Thank you. Good job. Oh, Keep it up. <laughs> I'll try. <Yeah. laughs> Making an effort. Right. Got a bowl of nuts. Time for telly. What are we going to okay. watch? Uh, Right, it's kebab time. Tracy's making a lot of noise in the drawer. <laughs> it is seven o'clock. Tracy's had a pizza. Luke likes his pizza. Well, doesn't like it, but he's kind of okay with it cold. So his pizza's nice and safe there. And he sent me a text making sure it's all been ordered. So he's whizzing around in his little van delivering joy and weekly shopping for everybody. And we are currently watching What's it called? Fundamentals of Caring. Recommended by the lovely Steph at the Despicable Three. And she warned me, we've already had a tear and we're only halfway through. <laughs> but so far, this is right up my street. Yeah, it's great. Really, well, Paul Rudd's great anyway. Yeah. But it's brilliant. It is brilliant. So we're going to have a kebab. Haven't had a kebab for a while either. No. So we're going to have that on our laps and carry on with this wonderful film. News flash, no breakfast to do tomorrow. What a touch. We've had a well nice night and the boys home. All right, number one. All right. Sorry, I've got a shirt on. How are you? <laughs> I've got my, uh, my trademark. How are we? Good, mate. We, what have we just watched? We watched an episode of WandaVision, which was great. Then we watched an episode of Mandalorian, which was equally brilliant. It was just, it's been good telly. It's been good telly tonight, Keith. It's very confusing, um, WandaVision. Yeah, I've still got no idea really what's going to happen. Obviously. Yeah. I like it. But yeah, and it had like kick ass references. And it did have a kick ass reference. That's nothing to do with this universe, no, no, no. is it? It's like that. The weird thing about WandaVision, there's so many pop culture references that are like within its universe, but it keeps like sort of dipping its foot out. Like, there, there was a naughty reference. Is it like the Okie Koki? It's exactly like that. Put in a foot in, foot out. out. And then in and out, in and out. And then they're shaking it all about. No, I don't go that far. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that was really, really good. And then Tracy and I, we've had a right old binge on the telly tonight, haven't we? Why? We, have. we watched what? Pretty Little Fires. <laughs> Little Fires everywhere. Which was really good. And that film, what was it called? The Fundamentals of Caring. What a beautiful film. It's a beautiful film. Had a few tears in that. Funny that. Yeah. And an episode of This Is Us. Yes. Also got a few tears. So That's Tracy. Does. Yeah, we had a good old. Oh, what are you doing? What? Huh? <laughs> you did look good though. You trained uh, yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Halfway, through, halfway through, uh doing drops today. All of a sudden, I was like, oh. All of a sudden, took my shirt off. Hello, missus. Here's your, here's your food. She's like, oh, here's I've my... just had my vaccination. <laughs> so I went, yeah. And they look at me. Here's what happens when I go around driving. They go, oh my god. You Luke from Cheers Ears. And I have to go, yes, I am racing driver Luke from Cheers Ears. And then I take my shirt off. If I look like that, I wouldn't wear a shirt. Aww. Cheers, mate. Um, that's all right. And so Trace just on the lock up. We've only got one guest in tonight. And guess what? Doesn't want breakfast. What a touch. I am hankering for a lie-in. So we're going to lock all the doors up. It's 10 o'clock or thereabouts. How rude. And we will see you lovely lot in the morning. Saturday, everybody. <clears throat> Half past nine. You know that. Big clock says it. Um, Bit of a lay in this morning. Tracy cranked the thermostat up before bed. She's claiming she didn't. I don't remember doing it. It was like a big room class. Um, so not a brilliant night's sleep, but not a bad night's sleep. It is pretty grey out there and it's looking well cold. So think of poor old Kifo when he's out there doing his gardening. But first things first, we've had a spot of breakfast. We've caught up with the lovely Mr. David and Mr. Ian and Started watching one of our old vlogs, didn't we? Yeah. Morning, wife. Good morning. How are we? Good morning, are you? Yeah, bit of editing. Bit of editing. Living the dream. Always. Double key <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started watching. Uh, it was the first trip we ever vlogged. Yeah. 2018. 
2018, yeah. And we were with people that we didn't want to feel uncomfortable about the vlogging, so we were kind of like secret squirrel for the first week, weren't we? Yeah. But it's still not bad, considering. Not so we bad, were, we it's not great. It. <laughs> well, we, were new, we were new at it. Thanks but... for sticking with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it could have been a lot worse though. Yeah. I think we did alright. Yeah. We, we, we got in our stride a bit further into the holiday. We are only watching like day, we've just watched day one of On the Parks. So, yeah, you know. so this is how day one looked. <laughs> how was it doing? Yeah, like that. Yeah, so this is that, this is that, this is that, and the camera's like, Ugh. so yeah. Towards the end of that holiday, we started to get into our stride and, and get a little bit more used to it, and then um, went from there, really. Yeah. We enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to re-watching. So we're watching our own stuff back, which is really, really nice, and probably, you know, especially in these times when we can't get out there, it's yeah. when our channel's sort of really come into its own. It's like watching home movies. It is home yeah. movies. But I'm really looking forward to watching Luke's Disneyland Paris trip. <laughs> That's not for everyone. <laughs> I think it is. It's a very different style to us, um, but it is Luke and his college mates, so it's that's what it is. Yeah. It's, it's funny. It's good, but it's, it's very different to our normal style of vlogging. It's on our channel. If you're not seeing it, go and check it out. <laughs> so we're gonna watch that um, a bit later on. So today the plan is I'm gonna go and start decorating upstairs. Take you lovely lot with us. Bit of tidying up out, outside, and then back upstairs when the paint's dry to put another coat on then back out there probably get a fire on the go get Darth Vader lit up we'll need it especially with cold today I know and then I think, spot a dinner more telly keeping it chilled not going to try and you know bust a gut on this so yeah off upstairs get some paint on the walls right so all set up for the morning so all we got to do today is sort of this half the ceiling two coats on there then we'll do this bit tomorrow and then start on the woodwork in the week right so it's 11 o'clock got the first coat of paint up on the you know the room we're decorating so happy with that and now heading out got my big coat on a couple of layers it is freezing out there so i'm gonna get darth vader on the go first start banging up some leaves right so it's half past three and i'm done outside kylo is desperate to come out aren't you mate hello so yeah, pretty productive in the garden. Let's have a look what we've done. Bagged up a load of the foliage. And yeah, all cleaning out quite nicely. Right, I'm gonna get my decorating gear back on and go get some more paint on the ceiling. Right, all clean, showered, tent of four, going to Tesco's, Tracy's in a cage. <laughs> So what's this? You're going to do some cage fighting. <laughs> I might do if I can't get it to go. You know what's going to happen? What? You're going to put one more bit on there, then you're going to be stuck. <laughs> and you'll be I'm like a top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to step out of it to do that bit. I'm just uh, contemplating at the moment. I'm not even really sure I've got the strength to do the hammer bit. But... Oh, that's what I like to see. Hammer, granite worktop. <laughs> what's going to go on here? I'm just going to hammer those bits in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I'm probably not. Cause I, I think I... Didn't do very well on the hammering when we put the last thing together. Daisy had to do it for me. Yeah. So I want to hammer, yeah, I don't want to tell you how to do it, but it looked really nice today. Thank you. It looked really <laughs> I lovely. I instructions though. Where's it from? Ikea. Oh, nice. Go for it. Um, I'm going to Tesco's. Okay. See you in a bit. Well, back from Tesco's. Back from Tesco's. Back from Tesco's. My Tesco's, not my <laughs> Tesco's. Our local Tesco's. It's, it's like it's like a mid-sized one, so it's not like an express, but it's not like a mega one. It's like a normal one. It's got clothes and it's got a little area for like mobile phone stuff. So it's yeah, it's got a little cafe. Yeah. Never been to the cafe though. Bearing in mind, I go there every day. Anyway, if you want to catch anything, especially what's going around at the moment, give me a message and I'll tell you where my Tesco's is. It was like Christmas in there, like. Bumping into people, it was made work. First of all, get ready for a rant, strap yourselves in. I've got my wallet, so I had to do a loop round. Then, got my coat on, in the car park, got all the way to the queue. I had to queue outside as well, you know, big coat rocked it. And then, got to the back of the queue, didn't have my mask, haven't done that in a while. I had to walk all the way back to the oh, car. Oh, no. that's horrible. 
And then I got in there and it was a, just a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. And it's just like, that can't be regulated. They've got the green light like waiting outside, but it's just like, it's like there's, it's like there's a monkey operating it. Just like, bing, bing, bing. Come on, in you come. But you're back now. Yeah, back now. I bought you some flowers. Thank you, thank you. My Valentine's flowers. Oh, they show them, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, that old star scene. Yeah, stars like you star. still like flowers, <laughs> Yeah. There we go. Um, I was going to hide them for tomorrow. But then I thought, they need to go in water, because they're not in like that lit, that weird, like, thing, where they put water in. And then I just thought, why not have them? On, enjoy them for a bit longer. Enjoy them for a bit longer. Right, you've been building stuff, haven't you? I have, yeah. Oh yes, it was quite successful. Was it? Come and see. I'm well excited. Even in situ. It's even in situ. Yeah, Daisy helped because we had to have a bit of... Right, let's go. Maneuver. The house is in the right state. We've got the carpet man coming tomorrow. We're living in, you know, we've got extension leads going into well, Daisy's room because... Not her room, her bathroom because there's blooming humidifiers in there sorting the leak out. Oh, nice. It's not very well lit because of the... Uh, yeah. But, yes. The idea is that we've each got a drawer for our, our towels. Oh, nice. And bath towels, not bath towels, uh, beach towels can go in there as well. And then we can find I mean, everything. if we keep the cats in there, you know what it'll be? The towel and the pussy cat. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. look. Oi, and on cue. Look at that. I'm going to pour myself a mass. No, I'm not. I like a great big Woodford's. Oh, to warm the coffee. <sighs> Back in the day, that was my drink, Woodford's. And today, I've not had a drink since, this, it was two years in December, and today could have been that day. Really? Tesco's going to set you over the edge. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. He said he would, he would have gone full Karen and complained. You would have been a Karen? If that is what a Karen is, I would have like, like you need yeah. to get, I wouldn't even gone to Tesco's, I'd have gone like, hello, we need oh, SWAT you know here. What? Complain to the manager, but I, I think that would be a valid complaint. I don't think that's a Karen complaint. It was well bad. Yeah, like if something's actually bad, normally a Karen is like someone who complains to the manager because they want a refund. Bum me right out. Anyway, well, that's about to change. It is about to change because there's some sort of van selling stuff in the cut in the town. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, we're gonna find out. I'm gonna take some readies. I might I'm gonna take a camera, we're gonna vlog this. <laughs> we're gonna vlog in our hometown. Sorry about that rant. We've got a little horse fan in the town doing like Mexican food deliveries. And it's like a little I'll show you. How cool is that? It's not gonna focus. I love that, like little enterprise thing. So they're doing hot drinks. Mexican food to take away. What have we got there? <laughs> Banging hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Can I have a look before you? Yeah, you can. Oh, wow. Oh, I oh. love that. And the girls in there were well nice. I know. So, I think, how are you feeling now after your Tesco? Cheered me right up. Uh, I knew it would. Oh, yeah, that's cheered me right up. Love it. On another point, we didn't know that was there actually. That's their second week of being there. Uh, how nice did those fajitas smell? Mm. Especially as a veggie. That could veggie. Veggie. That could make me not vegetarian. Yeah. But you know, my New Year's resolution was to eat less meat, so I've already completed that. Yeah. So you're crushing it. You know. Eat less meat. Let me let me have a beef burrito. Do you smell well? Good. I think we'll support. I love that as well. Mm. So they got one of those old um, horse trailers all kitted out inside. Got a telly in there. I know. I know, they're going to watch a film and get their jam on. They had loads of pre-orders, love it, and they're going to deliver and... Oh, I love all Very that. happy as well. Those three girls have turned my evening around just by being okay. nice. Loved it. Doesn't cost a lot. Doesn't cost nice a lot. Nice free. Yeah. Right, I'm going to blank out Tesco's now. No need for all that. Quarter to eight. Tracy's steak's in the pan. Luke and Daisy's dinner in the oven. Luke's come back. What, you don't do that. Do you want no. The people want to see it. No one wants to see that. Everyone wants to see it. No one Guys, wants to see it. The comments right now. Uh, let's get some camera up, please. Come on, get a good shot. Uh, there we go. Uh, if you want to see shirtless Luke in the upcoming vlogs, leave a comment, like and subscribe. If you don't, dislike the video. Um, if you don't want to see shirtless Luke, just dislike it and unsubscribe. Uh, and that way we'll figure out what the people want. I don't know.
Don't do that. What do you mean, no? Just keep your shirt on. No. Yes. Uh, how was work? You, got, you came back early. I did. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. So we're going to watch the last episode of The Mandalorian tonight. Mando. Mando. Exciting times. And you've got fish pie for tea. Charlie Bingham's one of your favourites. Fish pie. Fish pie. I, I said fish pie. Did you know that there is a takeaway Mexican horse box in Amesbury now? A what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I mean, what is that? Yeah, it's a horse box done up to sell Mexican food. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Why don't you just say food truck? Because it's not a food truck. It's a it's horse, horse box <laughs> done up like a Mexican to sell... Yeah. Like a Mexican person? Yeah. Nice. When are we having it? Um, probably next, maybe next weekend. Right. Nice. I'm going now. Right. right, it is bedtime. Doing the final lock up. Got breakfast to do at nine o'clock. Tipsy is having a nice little fuss on the shelf. And we have just watched the final episode of The Mandalorian. Thoughts, number one. Oh, that was well good. <laughs> I don't want to give you spoilers, but oh. Yeah. And I called it as soon as I saw the. Uh, oh. oh. The thing that we oh, can't mention. I was with the. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and mum, oh, mum, you should have seen that. She was. We're watching it. She just goes. Oh. It was, it was fantastic. Yeah, it was awesome. Very, Brilliant. very good. I might rewatch The Mandalorian. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. Well, Daisy, I think. Yeah. Wasn't into it at first, but now she's seen oh, someone she with Star Wars. Films, I think she said she'd like to watch it, so we could start the whole thing with her. And she needs to watch WandaVision as well. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Good telly, yeah. mate. Perfect Very good Perfect telly. Ending. Right. Bedtime for us. We'll see you in the morning. Happy Sunday, you lovely lot. It is 25 to 11. Lazy old Keith and Tracer. I've not done a lot this morning. Did a cheeky breakfast, watched some vlogs. Ooh. You there? Not there. Strange Couple have uploaded another vlog, so that was lovely. Go and check them out, they're brilliant. It has been, oh, happy Valentine's Day. Don't know where our cards are. Tracy got me a Top Trumps, like a Star Wars Top Trumps, and got her some flowers yesterday. We did get some cards for one another, but I don't know where they've gone. They were good cards as well. I'll find them. Found them. That's the one I got for Tracy. That's the one Tracy got for me. Right, so I'm not going to go too hard today on like DIY and outsidey bits, but I've got a little bit of decorating to do upstairs in the main house. But I'm not going outside because it's dirty. And currently, looks like we can't get any times at the dump. So I'm leaving that till next weekend. And I'm going to have a roast and watch a bit of telly. Get ready for the week. And the carpet guy's coming shortly. Don't know what's going on in my ear. The carpet guy's coming shortly. Um, sort the carpet out, so I'm gonna shift some furniture about now. Um, carpet man's still not here, and it's nearly one o'clock. I've shifted furniture all around. So we're kinda ready for him, and he's gonna be doing this bit along there, obviously. This bit here, and a bit over there. I put a coat of paint on the room upstairs, so I'm waiting for that to dry, and then I just gotta put one other coat of paint on. The man that was due to check out today is checking out tomorrow, which is a result, a little bit more business, and doesn't want breakfast. We didn't need his room doing today either. What a touch! Right, quarter past four, just had a lovely chat with my mate Phil <clears throat> um, about the camper vans that we're gonna buy one day when we go off and have all of our adventures. That's, what, that's what's that's that happening. Plan. That's the plan. Me and Phil having adventures in our camper van. Yeah. Johnny boys outing. Yeah, me and Phil. You <laughs> it's know, <your> Phil. <laughs> just me and Phil. Driving off into the sunset. Yeah, <laughs> doing stuff. Right, carpet man's been, and I understand we only needed little bits done. Uh, let me show you. We only need li little bits done. So we had a little bit done here, which was a little step. Obviously, it's not the same carpet. Couldn't get exactly the same one. This one's been down a few years, but you know, he's done a good job. Little step there. Also, Luke hated the fact that there was, we all did, but this really bothered Luke. What's going on? I am considering a home haircut. Um, so yeah, we've had this bit put in. We've had this bit put in, that bit over there, and 
that bit over there. So I'm gonna hoover up, get it all sorted, get the furniture shifted back. However, we've used the same carpet guy for years, really, really nice bloke. And with a job like this, you can't just go, I need like four or five little bits, so you have to buy a roll of it. So, this is what's left. So we've got plenty of carpet and a bit of underlay. Oh, top nerd fact. Apparently, you spend your money on your underlay. Carpet is obviously important, but your underlay is like even more important. So I said to you, I'm gonna put this up in the man cave. And then as I said it, you know what this is? This is cheese sauce. <laughs> it is. It's gonna go up into the man cave, where it will stay and we'll forget that it's up there. And then at some point, we'll get round to taking it to the dump or we'll leave it here when we move. That was my plan. <laughs> so you know like we, we had that cheese sauce the other day. <laughs> so leftover cheese sauce, you know, it sits around, then you put it into Tupperware, then it goes into the fridge, and then a week later it goes in the bin. That is a circle of life. Same thing, I, one of you lovely lot said, oh, it's the same thing with the freezer. Oh, we'll freeze that, yeah, let's freeze that, and then it goes in the freezer, and then six months later it goes in the bin. That is a circle of life. So basically, this is cheese sauce. Because what I'm gonna do, because I'm squeaky on the funds, I can't bear to throw that away, but I w I've got no use for that, and I never will have any use for that but tomorrow it's quite heavy i'm going to carry it up three flights of stairs up into the man cave we've got a little room where i can keep it and i'll sit it in there and then it'll sit there for a couple of years and then i have to take it to the dump so what i should really do is just take it to the dump now if we could get a that's a whole up that's a whole other thing <laughs> turns out the dump isn't like disney well, and fast passes it, it let me do it once and now it won't let me do it, so we've got to wait. I keep trying every day, but it still says crack back oops, so. So I don't know what to do. I've got about enough to carpet, nothing. Not even my make-believe camper van that me and Phil are gonna drive off into the sunset <laughs> with. It's not enough to do that. So, I don't know, what would you do with it? I've got no use for it. That's it, that's my carpet stuff. That's it, you're done. Yeah. I've got no carpet jokes. Are there any carpet jokes? There's not any clean ones, no. Or use the, um, you can get the Mexican version of the stuff that goes underneath the carpet. Underlay, underlay. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> underlay, what is that? Underlay, underlay. That's what Speedy Gonzalez used That's to say. That was him. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. Bit of hoovering. Um, gonna get some beef in the oven. And then, a foaming nan. Because we've started up a really good rotor with Manan. Manan is, how old's Manan? Coming up 91. And she's brilliant. So between me, my lovely children, my amazing brother and sister, and my mum, who's just like, best person ever, my mum. Yeah. She's pretty. Good soul. She is good, she's isn't she? Really good soul, yeah. This is how good my mum is. She put a charity concert on for someone once. She never met them. I don't think she's ever met them. A little boy that needed treatment to go... Yeah, it was, to a, America. it was a friend of a friend. She didn't actually know them, but she heard about it from her friend and she put on a concert. Put on a proper concert, rented out a really nice venue in Windsor, got all the bands sorted, my brother was involved, raised a bunch of money, never met him, just got a thank you card, which, you know, she wasn't doing it for that. My mum is a legend, like, everyone's mum's great, you know, but she is well good. Right, so, don't know what I'm talking about now. Oh, anyway, yeah, got to phone my nan, so Sunday's my day, so gonna phone my nan, and, I don't know, I don't know. Finished decorating, quite happy with that. Next week, I've got to buy a pickaxe. So, I've got a pickaxe, get those stumps out. I think that is gonna kill me. Broke my fork, the new fork. Everything's going wrong. No, it's not, not everything's going wrong. Just having a bit of a rant again. Uh, right, I'm gonna hoover, shift the furniture, have a shower. I just told you that. Five to six, had a nice shower, had a scrub, feel good, done for the work for the day, hoovered, shifted furniture back. So it's all back to normal out there. We have still got to find homes for all of this furniture, but you know, it is a work in process. But there we go, back to being tidy. Modern Family has been running all day long. Love that show, it's well good. Anyway, dinner time. Daisy is camping out in Luke's room. Daisy, 
is a massive Sims fan. She's always loved Sims and, you know, playing on that. So she's been in there all day while Luke's at work. I think Luke's going to be home slightly earlier today. Watch the bedding. Tracy's going to stick that back on and going to get dinner ready. I've been, because we're kind of busier now, I have been a bit slack. I'm not doing homemade Yorkies. That's pay really. Uh, but I'm going to get some gravy on the firm. So today we've got some cabbage. Got a bit of beef. And with these, because we've been a bit of a harping back to Christmas, really, we've been having pigs in blankets with our, for their roast dinners, Sunday lunch. Why not? Um, Daisy isn't, obviously, still, <laughs> apart from the duck fat Yorkies a couple of weeks ago. Um, but we have been having those, and we've been having sage stuffing as well, because it's nice having a little bit extras, but I couldn't find pigs in blankets. These Jolly Hog sausages are really, really good. And with these little chipolatas, what I was thinking of doing with these is chopping them into little, like, little nugs. You know, little popcorn chicken bite type things. So I'm gonna stick them in a pan. Everyone's favorite. Celery, that's going in for the gravy. Gravy, gravy. I'm gonna grab some rosemary from outside. It is a dirty old night out there. But I'm cracking on. I've done the recycling already. All right, wife. Bit damp. I was going to put our bedding on, but it's still a bit damp. So. Hey ho. Can't do that. Right, I'm going to get dinner on. Cool. Right, so the beef is all ready. Made him a lovely little bed to go on there. Plenty of celery for all you celery lovers. We're going to try these for Dezo tonight. We saw Mr. David and Mr. Ian giving these a shout out. And yes, yeah, so that's going in. The spuds are coming to the boil, so they're going to boil for five minutes. So I've got the oil heating in the oven. Oh, everything's under control. And Tracy was just commenting on how good she feels. I do feel good today. Bit yeah. of exercise this week. Yeah, I did one of Chloe Ting workouts yesterday. Well, not, not a lot of fun. We did like a warm up and a 20 minute session. But you did that with Luke, didn't you? Luke did it with me, yeah. And, it's, and I feel really good today. So yeah, I think it's kicking in. And I don't, you know, when I first did it, I was struggling because I hadn't done exercise for a long time. But yeah, I'm kind of, yes, yeah. Getting out of breath and working and getting sweaty and red faced and very, <laughs> you know, wouldn't like anyone to see me do it. But um, yeah, enjoyed it. Nice. Do some more. So I'm going to get that in the oven. Then we've got an hour while that cooks. Then I'm going to foam it down while that's in the oven. So yeah, all good. Right, having a nice little jam out. Daisy's sausages are on the go. Cabbage boiling. Little sausage nugs doing their thing. Roast beef is resting. Spuds are still in the oven. Going to make some gravy. You can tell my trace is posh red. That's gonna go in there. Gonna give that a mix up and a squish up. We are nearly there. I'm really light on flour. Schoolboy era. So this is gonna be slightly thinner than expected. However, you know, still tastes good. These are sausages looking good. Little nuggety things here. Oh, looking good. The beef is resting. The cabbage is sorted. Nearly there. We're going school dinner style, so we've got the cabbage, got the spuds, Yorkies, sage and onion. Started plating already. I've just nicked one of Daisy's sausages, they are pretty good. So yeah, and we're going to tee up maths because Luke's not here, which means we're allowed to eat on our laps. <laughs> we eat on our laps when he's here, but he just doesn't like it. Yes, so um, dinner on our laps, watching a bit of telly. Very nice chilled Sunday. Right, it is quarter to ten. All right, wife. All right. We've cleared the kitchen down. Da, da, da. We're going to be those people. We are, especially on a Sunday. Especially Probably. on a Sunday. Luke's home and has had his dinner. The kids are mucking about and giggling around in the lounge, which is nice. And he's got a day off tomorrow. We're going to call it a night for okay, this weekend. Sorry, hi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining this weekend. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've loved, you know, doing this. Um, have a lovely week. Stay safe. Look after one another. Cheers, ears. Don't want to say it. Well, I was kind of like timing it, so cheers! <laughs>